I um I hate to I hate to do this, but it sort of I mean it obviously ties in with Owen. I hadn't quite realised that you wrestled straight after uh, Owen's fall, or more or less on Over the Edge, and it was already a weird enough day because I know there was a fight between Steve Blackman and Bradshaw at the airport earlier, and just everything yeah. was just brewing that day and everything. But uh, I mean, what did you know when you went out for the match? So. <sighs> I knew he was gone at that point. It wasn't announced. Um, I didn't expect him to be gone at that point. What happened was is I was behind the curtain as Owen was getting ready to, you know, be lowered down from the rafters to do his thing. I was getting warmed up for my match with Jeff Jarrett. Now, Jarrett, I don't believe he, you know, he wasn't in the gorilla position because I was there doing push-ups and squats and things, getting warmed up. Jeff, I believe, was back further in the building, getting ready to do a, um, some interview about the match coming up. And so I didn't know exactly where Jeff Jarrett was, but Jeff Jarrett was also one of Owen's best friends. And so I'm wrestling Owen's best friend here. And I remember as I'm doing uh, Hindu squats, getting the blood pumping, um, it was Bruce Pritchard that jumped up out of the production desk and said, EMTs, EMTs, somebody just fell from the rafters. Now, when he said that, I figured it's some drunk fan that got up into the rafters, was climbing up and fell. I didn't realize it was on. And I'm like, what the heck? And I just see Bruce freaking out. And then Bruce kind of calms back down and goes back to staring at the monitor. And then he puts his hands back in the air and flips out again and says, it's Owen, it's Owen. And I went, whoa, what? That's when it's kind of the shock comes over you. And then I remember looking as the EMTs went through the curtain, I remember pulling the curtain apart and looking out and it was pretty far down, you know, into the arena. So I couldn't really see what was going on. But when I heard Bruce say, Owen fell from the rafters, I remember like looking up to see how high that roof was. And I was like, Oh, it's, it's the worst looking up and realizing where he just fell from. But still, there's hope. There's always hope. And so everybody's in shock. Nobody believes that he's actually gone. Like it's, it's not even really entering anybody's mind. But when they brought him on that gurney, they had a bunch of guys pushing the gurney. They had one of the EMTs on top of the gurney straddling Owen and giving him really hard, hard chest compressions as he's being wheeled by me right in front of me and his head was turned towards me and his eyes were wide open and he was looking right at me and I don't know what it is but it was the first time in in my life that you could look at eyes that were open and know that's it he's not there I don't know what it is but you can just tell there's something there's there's not a shine in that eye it's you know he's no longer there and so I knew he wasn't there that I didn't need any doctor to come and say hey this he's he didn't make it I knew he didn't make it as soon as he wheeled by me, Jeff doesn't know he didn't make it. And Jeff is still in the back somewhere getting ready to cut a promo. And so now I'm thinking, okay, I don't know what I should do here. Like knowing what I now know, what I feel anyway. And uh, are they going to cancel this? Is this, are we still really going to go out and do this show? I started questioning like in my own mind, but all I think about is, this is my friend that just got wheeled by me and he's lifeless. And then all of a sudden my music hits and I'm standing there going, Oh, and I turned, I just, I don't remember much of walking down to the ring other than as I was walking down, you can hear the fans, but I can't really register them because as I'm walking down, I'm just looking up going, Oh my God, like this is real. This is really happening. And I knew Jeff still didn't know. And when we got in the ring, it was kind of a blur from there. I basically, we just came to the conclusion that, hey, let's just work through this and let's get the, you know, find out what's happening with Owen after the fact. So we did the match. I don't rem- really remember much of the match, man. It was, everything was about Owen at that point. You know, and you just you couldn't get him out of your mind. And so it was, a, it, was a, it was a weird, really sad night. Like it was, it, it's, it's one of those things that's burned into my memory forever the actual event, but the little details, like my match, I, I don't remember really wrestling inside that ring very much. I remember little things like looking at, 
uh, Jeff, when he first got in the ring, wondering if someone's told him anything. You know what I mean? It was our focus really wasn't on the match at all. Even though when we got into the match, I mean, you just fall into that groove. But I don't really remember much of it at all, the match itself. Um, the uh, Jeff Jarrett did know because uh, he had to do a promo to camera very shortly before yeah. he left the ring. And then you could see he was absolutely devastated and crying. So he did know. Um, there's one other thing, but I, I hate to answer for you. But some people say, should the show have carried on? No, of course it shouldn't. Um, and yet it did. Uh, so, yeah. but um, <clears throat> I, I apologize for sort of bringing like a very heavy question so early on into the interview. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, uh, but that's uh, a part of my history right there. You know what I mean? 